Nigeria will produce the next Elon Musk in the field of technology and artificial intelligence. I can say it with my full chest. Because you see, even the Elon Musk now, the Elon Musk that is bragging now is having billions, that his company cannot properly function if he takes out all the Nigerians that are working in it. Share tell I say when it comes to tech, leave it for Nigeria. Leave it. Even America, they live out for Nigeria. China, they live out for that. Nobody, they come to... People, they are giving up because when it comes to this tech, they are saying, leave it up. They, we don't want to even drag it. We don't want to drag it. What did Nigeria they do for tech? <laughs> we are not they ready. I swear, we are not they ready. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to bow, 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 bow. Take a minute and bow for Nigeria and say, yes, this country, these people are born different. These people are built different. How can you explain to me that 14 years old Nigerians will be doing things in tech that will be shocking people that are already in PhD? How can you explain to me that primary school children, you remember that Nigerian kid in America that developed an air filter? In school, in U.S., and the whole America was shaking. A small girl, in a child in school, developed a technology to filter air. You remember, if you think I'm joking, go and search. That's the kind of wonders these people are doing. So you'll be asking yourself, eh, how that kind of a child take come up with that kind of brain, take get that kind of idea, take develop those kind of machinery and stuff. That's why for me, eh, I will always say that there is something special about Nigerians. Because, bro, no matter how I get sense rich, let me tell you, eh, there's, I cannot just sit here now and imagine some things and create them. You cannot. You have to be a special person. You have to have special genes. Yes, there are some genes that must be special for you to be able to operate at a certain dimension. All humans are not the same. Some people get powers to see which. Some people get powers to see things that we cannot see. Some people get powers and other abilities that we don't have. All human beings are not the same. I think Nigerians are superior human beings. I'm very, very honest. I think Nigerians are superior human beings. Because when you look at the kind of things that some of them achieve, the kind of things some of them accomplish, even these Guinness World Record things, even the kind of resistance they have, even the kind of hustle spirit they have, you will know that guy. Guy, respect yourself. You get people where you, you cannot come close to them. You understand? You get people who are very, very much gifted than some others. And this technology field is one of those areas where Nigeria is making sure that the rest of the world know their place. Nigeria is making sure that the rest of the world in the field of tech, eh, they take a seat, half a cup of juice, sit down, enjoy it, and watch Nigerians take over. And watch Nigerians control the world. And watch Nigerians dominate. Watch Nigerians teach them how it's done. I'm going to be uh, talking about examples. Because this video is not just about hype, 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 hype. You know me now. My natural God-given talent is a hype man. So I'm not going to just hype, but I go give you a different evidence, different proof, different facts. To back it up and to show you that this tech field is about to make Nigeria billions. You see the way content creation, comedy, skits, and all this social media came and made many Nigerians billionaires. Transformed the lives of many Nigerian youths. You can count thousands of them. You can, it's just that content and social media, comedy, skits, and all of these things, streaming now is coming up. Those things are loud. You understand? We see them on our timelines more often. We don't see what these tech guys are doing. That's why people don't yet understand that Nigeria has truly the best youth in the world when it comes to tech. Nigeria is now having the best minds in the world when it comes to technology and many other things. You understand? But I'm here to remind you of a few of those things, give you particular examples, and show you with proof and evidence that, bro, Nigeria is not your mate. You have to respect them. And I'm very, very proud for one thing. One thing that I'm so, so proud of. 
that Nigerians are sleeping on, you people don't know, is the fact that the Nigerian government is putting in a lot of money to fund technology in Nigeria. Nigeria government is putting in a lot. If you start to count the money, the money long when Nigeria government, they put in to fund technology in Nigeria. And let me shock you, it's not only the Nigeria government that is putting in this money. Many other organizations are putting in the money. Many other companies are bringing in the money. Other countries like China, US, are also coming in as much as they can to steal tech talent from Nigeria. They're a the thief. Nigeria is so talented in tech, so good, that other countries, they want to they thief that talent. They are just coming in with different strategies. The other day, we talked of a young boy, right, that presented his project. It's like a Tinder, but for jobs. Tinder, you go to Tinder, like, there are people go to Tinder to look for partner. But this guy created his own Tinder where you go and look for jobs as a student, as whoever. And America has bought the project. Elon Musk was even running after the boy. Yes, Elon Musk was after him. Many American companies, Microsoft, all top tech companies were after the boy because he's too good. His story is there. You can go check it out if you think I'm joking. We know they play. <laughs> we know they play. We come with facts. We come with evidence. We come with information. We choke. Now, let me shock you, eh? The Nigeria government is putting in 12 billion naira. That's what I tell you that I'm happy the government of Nigeria has seen the potential in this Nigerian youth, has seen the possibility of this tech sector becoming a new drive in the Nigerian economy. Tech is like agriculture. Tech is like oil. Tech is like, look at China today. Do you know how much China is making from tech? Do you know how much America is making from tech? All oh, this Elon Musk. You, where is Elon Musk money coming from? Tech. Mark Zuckerberg, tech, now they are com combining it with AI. And that's where Nigeria is going. So just imagine that of these Nigerian youths, hmm, if any of them can become the next Elon Musk in tech, if any of them can become the next Mark Zuckerberg in tech, if any of them can, if just five or ten Nigerians can rise to the ranks of world tech giants, just know that that will be a lot of money for Nigeria. Just imagine a Nigerian bringing in over $100 billion into the Nigerian economy from tech. That's why the government of Nigeria has seen it and they say, ha, it'd be like we go take use this to make money. So they are putting in $12 billion. Remember, the government is a business. They are putting in money because they know that they will make the money back. So government of Nigeria is putting in $12 billion naira into tech because Nigeria has the best tech in the world. You understand? So Nigeria might produce the next Elon Musk in tech. Nigerians are so smart, they can produce the next Elon Musk in tech. I'm telling you, count it and watch out for this. Nigeria will produce the next Elon Musk in the field of technology and artificial intelligence. I can say it with my full chest. Because you see, even the Elon Musk now, the Elon Musk that is bragging now is having billions. That his company cannot properly function if he takes out all the Nigerians that are working in it. I can guarantee it to you that Elon Musk will lose. Some things will go wrong in his companies. Some things will go short in his businesses if he takes out all the Nigerians that are in that company closing deals and working for him. So I am confident that Nigeria can produce the next Elon Musk in technology and just watch it happen. I'm telling you, my brothers. For example, let us give you more, more specific and clear examples. If this boy and this girl, hmm, small boy, small girl, on their own, they are capable of generating 2 billion naira. Yes, two young Nigerian graduates, they built a 2 billion naira trade machine. Two children. <laughs> now, they're ready for it in the afternoon. Two children. How did they do it? You think that is easy. How did they do it? Yes, how did they do it? It's because I cannot explain how they did it. You cannot explain. That's why I say they have special genes. They are unique Nigerians. Understand? 
So for years, Africa's small and medium-sized tech have been struggling, but now they are getting a new rise. There's a new dawn in Africa tech because of these Nigerians that are driving in so much energy to the point where the Western world, the global tech world, they want to start grabbing all these Nigerians. See, they are inviting Nigerians to apply for 2026 tech program eh, to gain grants of $10,000 each. So if you're a Nigerian, this news, share it to them, share it to them. 2026 tech programs, tech partner, partnership programs, they are inviting Nigerians to participate and win $10,000 stipends. So to fund their tech projects, and I know this one, uh, just strategy to, to, to con the thief, the talent, carry the ideas when Nigerians get, use this small money, draw talent, carry and go to their companies and take the talent to Europe, take the talent to America, take the talent to China. That is the strategy these people use. And Nigeria is definitely a target because that country, as you see, Nigeria has the best young tech guys in the world nigeria can definitely produce the next elon musk in tech i can assure you that you understand nigeria is already the fastest growing tech city in the world which is lagos so expect anything to happen in tech in nigeria from now on anything at all at all expect it it can it is what it is. Your boy Ajim Max on this one again, guys. I know one waste for our time with this one. But make sure so you watch the video to the end and make sure so you smash the like button and the subscribe button. Hmm? Make sure you share the video too. Don't just watch alone. Share. Sharing is giving. Sharing is giving. It is what it is. Be the way the boss bring. No the lack for this platform. God bless y'all. Cheese.